Hello, it's Cinder Team here. We know accounting automation can be challenging and we're here to help you. So if you're not sure how exactly it works, whether your profit and loss is updated properly on whether you'll be able to reconcile data, this video is for you. By the way, invite your accountant to watch it as well, as this app will be their best friend if it is set up correctly. Let's start from profit and loss. Cinder can provide a profit and loss report by classes with detailed income and expense categories, breaking down the fees. How does it work? The categorization works based on the names of products or services and income accounts linked to them. So you need to have them set up under your products and services list before putting Cinder on autopilot. Let's say you have orders in Shopify and you see the same list of orders ready to be synchronized in Cinder. There are various items in your orders, so you need to go to your QuickBooks products list and set these items up. You can create an inventory product like this, pasting the exact name from Shopify, SKU, inventory starting quantity and starting date in the income account that will show up in the profit and loss report for this item. Do the same for all of the other items. Once you synchronize all transactions to QuickBooks, you can refresh the page and see how inventory quantities went down. And if you go to profit and loss, you'll notice how income for the correctly set up items was categorized. You'll also see the fees on a separate category that you can select in the Cinder settings like this. This is going to work exactly the same for any item name from any system. For example, Cinder will recognize the description in a Stripe charge or the product name in a Stripe invoice. If you'd like to put all sales into one category regardless of the item and track the income for the sales channel in total, you can also do this in the Cinder settings and, for instance, redo all of the synchronized transactions in bulk to get a different result in profit and loss. Cinder can also apply a class or a location, but this is a topic for other videos. Now that we've discussed product categorization, let's move on to the reconciliation flow. We'll show it in the example of Stripe, but the flow will be absolutely the same for any platform. Question number one we get about reconciliation is, will Cinder duplicate income, as you already have it in the bank feeds of your accounting? The answer is no. You are supposed to have these records in your bank feeds and Cinder will simply incorporate into this process. So first of all, you need to check if the checking account is selected under your Cinder settings payouts tab. It is important to have it there. Cinder will create a record for each transaction coming from your sales channels. So if you compare the lists of sales, you will be able to see that they are identical in Cinder and Stripe or any other system. And the sets of sales are separated by payouts. Just like a sales channel makes a transfer of funds to your bank once in a while, Cinder will record a transfer from the clearing account to the checking account for exactly the same amount. So let's synchronize the payments to see this in action. Regardless of how these transactions should be categorized, they will show up under a clearing account in your chart of accounts. You will have a Stripe bank account for Stripe, Shopify bank account for Shopify, and so on. Each of these accounts will represent your actual sales channel, and it is to be reconciled against the sales channel. You can see each sale synchronized with the fees as a separate expense transaction. So if you open the register of the corresponding clearing account, you'll notice all of the sales and the fees categorized like this. And the ending balance will be equal to the balance of this payout you have in your bank feeds. But in order to reconcile it, you need to push through the payout for the same amount to QuickBooks. Once it is synchronized, you can refresh the bank feed and see how QuickBooks pre-matched it to the transfer created by Cinder. This is how you reconcile. The balance of your clearing account in the chart of accounts will go back to zero, the same way as your Stripe balance does when a transfer is recorded to your checking account. So let's go with some more transactions, or even all of them. Once they are synced, you will be able to confirm all of the bank feed lines. I need to refresh once more, and here we go. The balance of the clearing account is zero again, as each payout for the bunch of sales 
clears the Stripe bank account. This is how Cinder works. We highly recommend watching this video with your accountant, a bookkeeper, and tailor Cinder settings for your flow to make sure it saves you time and automates your books, rather than adds you more pain in clearing the mess any automation may cause by incorrect setup. Remember that Cinder is designed to become the best thing that ever happened to your online bookkeeping. If it's not, talk to our support team and Cinder will be a best friend once we tailor it together.